Legend of Total War here with part three of my Rome Total War roleplay campaign as the Julii under the new command of Spurius Julius. So previously, um, Marcus Julius, who we r ran for seven episodes, finally died at the age of, I think, 69 or 70, just on his way to Petra, although I was going to head redirect anyway because this is not worth taking. Um, I'm just trying to think what to do with these guys now. I mean, I could still besiege Petra and just starve it out, but then again, we'll never be able to hold it without a governor down here. So, it might be a good idea to pull them back. Because we can only fight battles manually with, uh, with the faction leader, and he's over here now. So, I did say that we were going to start the Roman Civil War. We've, um, we've got enough popular standing. It's just a matter of how we're going to go about it, whether or not we go for Rome itself straight away, or, because if we, if we go for Rome straight away, what that's going to do is, if we attack, if we attack SPQR that is, the Brutii and Scipii will remain allies, but if I attack the Scipii, I believe it is all, every man for themselves. Um, now, how many settlements do I have? I got 35, so we still need to capture 15 settlements in addition to Rome in order to win the campaign. So we've got these guys over here. That's where, um... Still going to continue, obviously, the conquest of Britannia. And how are we going over here? Yeah, so, you know, these, these armies will be ready soon. Now, if we have a look at our rankings... So, overall ranking, the Scipii are actually considered stronger. Militarily, they're like twice our strength. So things could get pretty bloody very quickly. Well, so they don't really border each other that much. I think it probably would be better. I mean, the smarter decision would be to attack the Scipii here. If we wanted to go balls of the wall challenge, obviously we go for for Rome, but this isn't a challenge campaign, it's a roleplay campaign, so we're going to declare war on the Scipii for trespassing on our territory. Now this, this becomes our main legion, so we're going to need a new Italian legion. Let's start with, start with this. At 27 years old, you've got a lot riding on you right here. Prepare for battle. Victory! So if you have a look here, war, house of Brutii, house of Julii, outlawed by the Senate, alliance and tatters, alliance and tatters. Now if we have a look diplomatically wise, they're still considered allies. Alright, but I wonder if that's going to stay that way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter even if it does do that. Alright, so what have they got here? They got some artillery. If we attack them, I think he'll withdraw. So, oh, hang on. Orders. Orders. Sir. The so I think we'll attack this here attack. so that we can bring him out. But yeah, now we're going to have to really start recruiting loads of troops to garrison the settlements. It's time for our military ranking if to go through the route. That's your foes. They're scared, and it shows. But it's not a very dignified way to spend a night before a battle, is it? Still, that's what fear does to weaklings. Those overly proud Romans over there are the Scipii. They think they are our equals, our enemies. I think they are dead men. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. On this field, we have the benefit of greater numbers. It is one we would do well not to squander. They will, unless completely unthinking, try to use the woods to screen some of their troops. We are lacking in spearmen today, and the many enemy horsemen may make life a little hectic if we are not careful. And the first man to the enemy gets a jug of my finest wine! Okay, so the first load of guys is just easily taken out. 
The next one's what the one we don't have to worry about. So we'll just send the cavalry to go sort that out, and you go in with them. You're nice and young. Uh, the Praetorian Guard will stay in the rear. Actually, the archer should stay in the rear here. Okay. And all of them should be firing at will. So early legendary... Oh shit, I was wrong. Gotta move, like right now. Didn't probably charge into them. It doesn't really matter. The charge ends up doing more damage to us than them anyway most of the time. Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! I probably should have deployed a little bit more towards the center because it's going to be more, uh, difficult to run them down now. It's just not a lot of distance. So they've even got Praetorian cavalry, which is better than anything we've got in terms of cavalry. I wouldn't worry too much about the artillery, it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. The main thing is I need you guys over here. These guys here must not break. Because don't forget this is an inexperienced army here. Shit. Didn't want them to get flanked. Didn't seem to do a whole lot against this anyway. Skirmish. Just watch out, if you die from artillery, that would really suck. Shoot the Praetorian Kev. Good. Alright. You should easily be able to fight the Roman cavalry off. Don't worry about them. How are our guys doing here? Victory is a distinct possibility. Alright, and now we charge into their rear. Try and finish them off. How are our guys doing over here? They're, they're eager. That's looking good. A guy started off with a good amount of command as well, so... He's a natural commander. So what have we got over here? Light Auxilia. I'd really like to get rid of that artillery. Another concern is that these guys here, oh, no. Roman Armored General, maybe we should try and kill him. And we've got to get him himself. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Shit. Get out of there. Ah, we got him. Good, good, good. This guy's ballsy. Really press this attack. I just stare at him. Get him. Oh, 
I got hit by a big artillery barrage there. We'll probably use a little bit of a rest. So make sure we keep them under control. You double back around over here. Stop them. Give them no opportunity to escape. The gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! They had a lot of cavalry in this army. But we triumphed over them. But we haven't killed 85% of them, that's that's the problem. So a lot of them will get away. The gods be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! percent of them. All good. Still, pretty good kill ratio. A good first victory for him. However, the counter-attack expected to be pretty severe. We're gonna need to... So yeah, we're with the booty eye as well. I'm gonna need to recruit like absolute crazy now. Got to have defenses in all these settlements. Sir. Now, if you go to Batavium, you can't actually retrain these guys here. But you've got to say Batavium. It's making me 400 gold. I'm sure it's actually more than that, though. Um, the Carthaginian Legion is ready to go. The African Legion. So their job is to go to Lilibium. Since Carthage has a population problem, it's just overpopulated, we'll recruit a new legion from here. Oh, I can't really, because new legionary cohort. Well, I can get a couple of these guys. Actually, I'll just increase that. There should already be, yeah, max squalor, so public order's not going to get any worse. Okay, doesn't seem to be any ships around here. Your job will, of course, be to hit them in Sicily. Now, your job. You can't make it back to Eretium this turn. You've got to stop the invasions here at Patavium. Well, they're not really invasions, but you've got to stop them from, from potentially invading there. Of course, we did take some damage. What we can do here, I think, is just shuffle some of these units around and send one of them back, or maybe two, for retraining, and everyone else moves forward. Yeah, we're going to send more than one back. Hoping for some more experience, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Okay, just send these two back. The other damage is not so bad. So immediately put on the defense by this. It's alright. Things are going to get interesting now. Another thing is that I need to send someone to Egypt. So I've got a large fleet here. You're relatively young. You're going to Egypt. I doubt there's going to be any fleet that's, that can stop us along the way. Nothing seems too severe. And if you get sunk, oh well. Right, let's blockade the port of Rome. Oh, hang on. We haven't actually declared war on the Senate yet. Huh. Alright, let's not worry about that then yet. Okay, what next? Ready to sail. Uh, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe I'm supposed to declare war on the Senate first and then they declare war on everyone else. Eh, it doesn't matter. If, if I'm just fine the Broody and Scipio, that's fine. 
Good, now we can actually recruit. The Legion. Let's get rid of this, I don't want it. Roman Cavalry will be made obsolete. Same with all of these guys. Just don't worry about them. Ah, oh, shit. When he, he's really old, and when he dies, the public order here is going to go to absolute shit. So next thing this needs is the legionary cavalry. Oh, shit. At least we've sort of got Britannia here as a as a buffer, but there's a settlement over. Oh no, that's, that's where it is. Norcom's there. Alright, let's do some construction, then move on. What do we need? Probably armor upgrades would be a good idea. Perhaps this will be alright. Just need some governance there. Hang on, hang on. Go back to Thapsis. Maybe instead we should upgrade the public order just a bit more. Needed public order to uh, to be good so we can not worry about that province. Okay, I think I've done everything that I can. Let's move on. So outlawed by the Senate. Brutia, yeah, so I was right. They've all been outlawed. They're all at war with each other. Diplomatic, f yeah, so... The, the, the Senate declared war on all of them. Now, it's quite possible that the Scipii might actually try to attack the Senate. Let me just check. So, the Brutii is also at war. No, they're still allied with the Scipii. Okay. Orders. So, we can pick up some re... Oh, no, I can't. Not those reinforcements. Can pick up... Wait, wasn't there a late legendary cohort here? No. Prioritize that. Orders. So yeah, they're going back here for retraining. I need to buff up our forces out here immensely. This is this is why we've got so much money for, for this kind of stuff now. So yeah, you just um, I guess just wait here on the river crossing until he arrives in several years. Just avoid all ships in the meantime. So this guy here. I mean, I was going to go like straight for Rome, but then I was thinking it's not going to get us victory, and it's it's going to be kind of hard to take them on anyway. Plus, I don't want to lose my northern Italian settlements, and there's Iuvavum up here. That wouldn't be so bad to take that, or suggest oh, no, that would be a pile of shit. Alright, let's, let's kill this guy. He's got some reinforcements that were hiding. It's an urban cohort, better than anything I've got. Pigs are useless to them, mostly infantry army. We should be able to win this, no problem. There are many roads to victory. Today, There's going to be many, many battles. We kind of don't have time to listen to all of them. All the speeches. So let's just get into position. The fairy man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Right, are they coming to us? No. So let's move forward. Ooh, 
Victorian cohort. This is gonna stink. Sting for them. It's hard to replace those. Oh, don't fucking skirmish mode. God damn it. Let's forget about the, the vault. Right, aim for the general. Seems like everyone's breaking rank now. Go. Oh shit, he broke. Okay, Praetorian Guard, you're gonna I'm gonna need you in this one. Get in there. Get in there, fight him. Cavalry run them down, you guys just focus on killing them. What's this? Abilities. The enemy general flees! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Roll them up. Close to 85 percent, getting there. So these guys here are leaving. Those urban cohort. Um, just let them go. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't kill him. Oh, yeah, he's they're withdrawing. Well then, run down every last one of these fuckers that we can. Otherwise, we'll have to fight them again. Never catch up to him. Wiping out whole battalions means that they, from every settlement they can only recruit one unit a turn. But they can replenish nine units a turn. The enemy's hearts are sort of full of fear and now they flee. So where do we go? So, they've only got 51 men remaining, which if we had killed the enemy general, they would have been wiped out, but it's still a, a good victory there. Victory! Orders. And you've been a better commander, so that'll help our guys in combat. They need to be retrained. We, we took a bit of damage on that. If the Brutio come down here and besiege Batavium, no, didn't, that doesn't seem like exactly what they were going to do, though. Plus, there's these guys here. Hopefully, eventually, these guys will get some bloody experience. That's what they need. Alright, it's time to get moving. Good, that keeps it under control. Imperial. And how are we going over here? Okay, we could disband these guys here now. And this one. There we go. This will come under control next turn, it'll be fine. 
Prepare for battle. Ready to sail. Set sail. After they've captured this, they need to go and capture Ireland. Fleet ready. Fleet ready. So this one here is a huge city. Good. This is a really great one to take. That's not well defended at all. Just to start you there. Ready to sail. Aye, aye, Captain. Disembark. Imperator. Can't fight the battle manually. These these settlements down here are just ripe for taking. I suppose majority of the Scipio forces are out here like fighting Armenia. And since we've really only fighting Egypt and they don't seem to be doing much, and they're also fighting the Scipio, we've sort of caught them with their pants down. But there will be a reckoning. We'll we'll have to deal with severe forces eventually. So let's try and take as much of them as we can before then. Actually, go with the public order. to keep them under control. So over here, yeah, we've got to get more of these. How many more? Four. Okay, just forget about them. Okay, cool. Let them get retrained. And so these guys here will just wait here until the, um, the new governor of Egypt shows up. What else do we have? 35. Well, we didn't gain any or lose any, so don't know why that would have changed. Moving on. Opportunity to hit them. Oh, I forgot to retrain them. That was. Oh well. Imperator! Sir! Orders! Hold out! Sir! Ready to ambush! Onward! Okay, let's see if we can spread some units around to get some experience. There we go, got some. Got some more, that's excellent. Okay, I think that's good enough. That'll take more than a full turn to re recover, but that's okay. I think they can wait. M maybe not that one. So this one here's got experience, the 56 one doesn't. Prioritize the experienced legions with. Legionnaires with that retraining. Onward. Imperator. Leaving the army. Forward. Build tower. So there's probably majority peasants here, but I think it still just needs to be staffed out. Because if I assault that, they've got a lot of experience. I mean, we've got a lot of experience as well, but just staff them out anyway. We're not in any rush to take the city. Few Egyptian boats out here, but nothing major. General, prepare for battle. We lost more than they did, sort of. But we should be able to replenish our guys here. Let's take that. So they've already built a Colosseum. Yeah, we can. They've, they've built a strong garrison here. How'd they go with, like. Oh, there's no um, blacksmith. Uh, we damaged the barracks. Wait, did we? Oh, they, no, these guys here didn't take any damage. Okay, they also don't have archers here. What kind of, uh, what have they got here? 
Yeah, we can keep that there, but in order to get gold tier equipment... Because it's not as good as Jupiter, but it shouldn't have public order problems. Um, so just build that, whatever. We're going to move out this turn, but next turn. Keep our forces nice and strong. Next stop, I think, will be Syracuse. Take out all their easy settlements. Okay, let's do some construction, then move on. So at Aretium, yeah, we need that. I might actually make a move on Rome. I mean, they're just sitting there, and the Brutio and Scipio don't actually have that many forces nearby. It'll be difficult to take on the Senate, though. There's a reasonable chance of defeat, because they'll have a lot of generals, and that's going to be their toughest unit. But they'll also have a lot of shit like Hastati. Thebes. Yeah, no, it's fine. Moving on. Of course we're not going to need any Senate officers. Too much. I don't think I can take that on. Well, I, I might be able to with some reinforcements. It's going to be freaking tough, though. It's not a great general. Because I've got more than a full stack here. just more than a full stack. And there's these guys here as well. If we sent these guys down... Fuck it. If we lose... Well, I can I can train fast, way faster than the uh, than the Senate can. So the odds are actually a little bit in my favour. I've got five command stars compared to their one. Numbers-wise... Okay, 3,600 men, or 3,700 men, versus probably a little bit more than that. Add that up. It's about 4,000 men, so we're outnumbered by about 400 men. they got some Praetorian cohorts, but they got shit like Hastati, but they're experienced, though. And this one here's got... Those dogs aren't going to count for shit. Now, I think it's important that for this battle, we have these under AI control. And I should stay close to them and try and give them back up, because they won't listen to me. If I had an all cavalry army, which would be preferable. Right, let's listen to this bitch. Over there call themselves the army of the Senate and people of Rome. They are our enemies, and soon to be dead. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. There is no advantage in numbers to either side. Therefore, skill and courage will be the keys to this day's battle. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. The gods have surely smiled upon us. The omens are so numerous and so in our favor that I cannot describe them all and still have time for a battle today. Another one of our armies is nearby and ready to fall upon the enemy. And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed! Okay. And, um, allied reinforcements will come from over here. Tell you what, I love some horse archers for this. Protect him just for the time being. I'll need to reorganize them as well. The fairy man will be busy today. The enemy have brought more 
them into the fight. It's a big battle. There's going to be 8,000 men on the battlefield. Close to. Come on, slow pokes. Get up over here. Actually, maybe we should get in there. Uh, our army's better than theirs, but not by much. So we should get in there and fight half of their army first. Before... Before their reinforcements show up. Oops. these guys are dicking around as well because if these guys get together they can very easily envelop us just because of their numbers we can stretch ourselves a little bit thin if we needed to anyway dealing with them one at a time is definitely preferable these guys will just show up whenever they're gonna show up For the general I mean, he's armored and everything but none of these other guys really concern me very much matched pretty much perfectly. They don't have any cavalry on this side here, so we'll roll them up on this side. They've got cavalry superior on that side there, though, because there's no way my guy's going to beat the Roman general. So maybe you should... Doing a little bit of damage to the Roman army general. Even if we're just taking off some of their hit points, it's still worth it. All of our guys here should stay in guard mode. Don't move from your position. Hold the line. How are we going percentage-wise? 2 to 10%. That's a good start. Yeah, that's it. Come lose your general against us. That'd be great. If we go chasing after them, they're going to, um, to skirmish and draw us closer to the secondary army. We're still trying to get organized. So that's why we have to hold the line. Move forward. Shoot that general. Whoops. Looks like our reinforcements are going to arrive first. I don't think a full-on charge into Hastati is going to work, but let's just see. Did quite a, quite a bit of damage, actually. Come on, break him. No, no, no. Get back over here. Get back over here. Gotta run, the, charge into their rear. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. 
Would have preferred to kill him, but maybe, maybe he'll come back because he didn't lose that many men. Okay, Percentage wise, looks like things are moving in our favour. 14 to 26 percent, that's good. Yeah, reinforcements. But more or less, the first army has been defeated. Seem to want to come back. Try to move up with them. <laughs> They're being silly here. Do we? Well, we broke the enemy general. That one okay, right, let's move forward. Press the attack now. We've got the advantage. Left, press it. You get in there as well. Guys should be nice and fresh. Get in there, kill them. I better take them off guard mode as well. Did he come back, or is that a different general? I think it's a different one. Oh shit! That's not good. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. He's the general of which army, though? Approaches. He's getting fucked up, not good. Um, what's this? Another armored general. Get around the back of the army. Good, we got a, we've broken through their center here, good. But our flank here is a little bit, a little bit iffy. So, guys, go and support that flank, good. Roll them up. There all by himself. Oh uh, shit, send these two back over there to support him. Cavalry auxiliary, don't make me fucking old. If enemy generals have been running away, then we're not going to be wiping out all of the forces in this particular battle. They might actually need to go back to Eretium, but it is going to take the Senate a very long time to replace these troops, and it's not going to take me that long at all. So yeah, now they're, they're on the retreat now. Legionary first cohort. They're good to steal their eagle. Once I have, uh, oh shit, they're attacking this. Once I have Rome, each army will have its own legionary eagle. I don't, well, I can I can replace them, but. Cavalry auxiliary there was actually the general. Praised. Sorry. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Oh, those allied troops. Get over here. Run them down. Because that guy here is not faring so well.
So we lose 41%, they lose 86%. Not bad, obviously. We took a bit of damage, but you know, they took more. I'm not missing any of these guys here. to leave the battlefield. We've wiped out that first cohort. Not so easy to replace that. And there's another unit over here somewhere. The enemy show their true Just finish virtue. them off. So there here we go now. 91% of them dead. Good stuff. Not that many remaining. We probably could press the attack actually because that was, that was pretty much all of their forces. Mm. I have to say. But is this guy here not getting involved or something? Orders. So no units got wiped out. Prepare for battle. Oh. Alright, well, um, send them back for retraining, obviously. Whatever the case is, that went that went quite well. It's, they're just not going to recover from that easily. But I can't press the attack any further. So over here, yeah, you just starve them out. It's just out of curiosity. Oh, I didn't even build siege equipments. Never mind. Just thinking out of curiosity. Let's see how well they do. Guess you're going to be the governor of Sicily. Still continue to recruit new... Oh, we've got access to urban cohort now. Yeah... Because if we look at the difference between them, it's pretty significant. Extra two melee attack, extra two missile damage, extra one defense skill, and they just cost a little bit more... They don't get cost anything more in upkeep, it's just a little bit more in recruitment. Alright, grab him. I think you guys can stop with that now. Right, we'll do some construction, then move on. Public order is going to be an issue here. Okay, looking good. So at Elysia, our army is it's on its way. It's going to take a little while, but our guy here, he's probably going to die of old age before too long. I might send a replacement. So you're... You're actually kind of old. Where are all of our governors? How many family members do we have? Family members 45. But some of them might be a bit young. Maybe that's the thing. Still waiting for the next generation to show up. Okay, let's not worry about too much. Moving on. So they've put all of their forces into Rome to prepare for um, our assault, I suppose. I think I should lay siege, but I also need to send troops back over here and send more reinforcements Yeah. So send this guy back to, uh, to get retrained. Go back to get retrained. 
Just gonna get retrained. Okay, now this here. Let's see if we can generate more experience. Good. Hardship makes them strong. Good, all of them have got experience now. So, these six need to go back for retraining. You'll lay siege. And I'll send these guys here as reinforcements. And you'll get even more reinforcements next turn. Good, the Senate falls next turn. You know, provided we win. Okay, I just realized that the Praetorian cohort here are going to be replaced with Urban cohort. So don't worry about retraining that. I'm actually going to disband it. Replace it with something better. Okay, good. So over here, if we were to attack this... The, the problem is that experience. I mean, we've got experience as well. Ah, fuck it. Good. Slave them again. If we could manage to stay here for just one turn, public order will maintain. Maybe just get him out, because otherwise you run the risk of him getting killed. Just stay there. What are you, corrupt or something? Because you've got quite a bit of influence. Yeah, you're corrupt. So what we'll need to do is send peasants over here to get this developed right away. But there we go. we got Britannia. We just need um, Ireland. Okay, what's next? Yeah, you're just staying. Okay, we've got problems here. Population in Alexandria grows really fast. Okay, the governor has almost made it. Oh, I've got to... Okay, this will be a little bit more difficult now that they've got reinforcements here. Let's see. I can't justify that. Not in an order resolve. It's too risky. But what I could do instead is hit this guy. Oh, it still gets them all. That was always a possibility. Definitely would have won that battle. Oh, doubtful courage, that's not good. Um, so now, he'll be fine out in the boat for the time being, but he needs to go back to um, Lily Biome for retraining. We need more boats. That stings. What can I say? You know, roleplay campaign. Could have fought it easily and won it. But, yeah, yeah, give a guy a bit of responsibility and it fucks it up for you. Can only handle the most simplest of tasks. Alright, so these guys here, they're being retrained. We need to do some construction and then move on. So, yeah, get that going. Go for public order instead. Don't build thumbs. Thumbs cause squalor and unrest. And then these are the same people that say, I don't understand. Is he playing on easy? How is he doing so well? Alright, Thebes. Yep. Looking good. Alright, moving on. I did build siege equipment right at Rome. writing endeavor but this should yep I'll put you back over here 
and it should be at 70%. Good. It won't riot at 70%. And if we just wait until the unrest goes away, we'll have it under control. Get the peasants over here. And turn it into a large town. So yeah, I did build siege equipment, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Alright, so we need four units. One, two, three, four. Bit of a dog's breakfast, but that's okay. Ah, uh, Patavium's under siege. Alright, I need you to take these guys and lift that siege. Or not lift the siege, but just stay right there. I'll send reinforcements. They won't make the attack this turn because they haven't built siege equipment. Let's take Rome. Alright, so I've just got one general's bodyguard in there. Literally first cohort, urban cohort, and some dregs from other battles that we fought. Wow, his uh, command has gone through the roof. Don't mind that noise, it's just me rubbing on the chair, Take sort of. The shield. Grasp the spear. Sharpen the sword's edge. This is a day of destiny, and fate of many will be decided in this place. The Roman Senate has sent its army against us. Do not fear them, for they will die as quickly as other men. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? This is their last city. Their last rat hole to hide in. You can call Rome a rat hole. Let them cower behind their walls, but it will do them no good. We have not come this far to turn back now. Harden your hearts. Put them all to the sword. This is our moment of triumph. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. Their position is hopeless. The count of their troops pitiful. But remember that the base cur still has a bite. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now, with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand! I want to see blood! I want to bathe in their blood! I want to bathe in their blood for a week! Now! Kill them all! Okay, so... Await my orders! How many units are they going to put up on the wall, do you reckon? Okay, first things first, let's organize this again. So we've only got three siege towers, and these are large stone walls. I don't know if it's a good idea to just throw troops up on the on the walls. It usually isn't. Better to go around. It's just a better tactical decision. So we'll take these guys. Take these two off the siege tower. I'll leave you there. You can just shoot whatever's up here. We want to put these two around the other side. Look for... Yeah, spots like this that aren't well defended. So what do I got up on the wall here? They got Semnite gla Gladiators, Velites, Principes. We could have easily captured that. In fact, I might even send these guys up on the walls anyway. Let them use the ammunition first. Take out those uh, those gladiators. Because these are urban cohorts, don't forget. By far the best troop in the game. In terms of, like, stats. Obviously cavalry. Still preferable for, for tactical reasons. Religion, spot and hoplites would easily defeat urban cohorts. Yeah, 
only if the conditions are perfect for them. In a straight up brawl, urban cohort are the best. This is a step on the path to victory. The towers are at the walls. So let's see now if. Okay, good. That one's not fucked up, but this one did. Okay. The problem with large stone walls. It's actually a bug that wasn't in the original, like, version 1.0. It's only in the patch, I'm pretty sure, that this bug was present. I think that's the case, although, don't quote me on that. I mean, it has literally been like 10 years since I played an unpatched Rome Total War. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now there will be hard fighting to break the defenses. I do remember that the unpatched Rome Total War, it seemed to have a lot more, f like, goofy fuckery stuff in it as well, like, um, do you, you guys probably don't even remember the Yuds of Elephants? It's like a little joke that the Rome Total War guys, um, put into the game. Humongous elephants, they're basically oliphants from Lord of the Rings. And they appear sometimes, um... In rebel settlements, so if a settlement revolts, sometimes the Yudsup elephants will show up there, and it was purely an Easter egg joke. Creative Assembly don't really do that stuff anymore, which is probably a good thing because those elephants were a fucking nightmare to deal with. Good old Yudsup elephants. I'm sure I could go into the game files, find out where they are, and like start myself up on any given campaign with Yudsup elephants. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Maybe I'll do that one. Now is it time to press on and capture this place? They'll be like, eh, they're, 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 you are cheating. They're like, yeah, I know it's not. It's pretty fucking obvious. You don't. These are not normal campaign units. I might just, just forget about these ones here. The urban cohort are going to wreck these guys, no doubt about that. And then we'll, we'll push forward with the attack. Urban cohort. Attack! That being said, 7 9 gladiators are also very strong fighters, but the thing to consider is that they have two hit points and they have half the number of units. So maybe one on one a 7 9 gladiator can actually take out an urban cohort, but an urban cohort unit can easily take out a 7 9 gladiator unit, because they just have more, more troops. Not to mention they've got javelins. They don't. Good. Let's open up those gates. And let's sort out a, a pathway to the town square. Okay, got it. The gates are down. Wait, did we capture... Yeah, you should come over here quickly capture this. They've got urban cohort of their own, but... 
given our numbers, we should be able to defeat them. There's overwhelming numbers here. That does make a big difference. So they've not lost nearly half of their forces so far. Yeah, keep running this around anyway. Probably keep them close by, just to make sure they don't break. Bit of a walk to get here, or a bit of a jog, whichever you prefer. I prefer a jog. To get into position, they'll be tired, give them a moment, and they'll recover their fatigue. Just winded there, okay. So what we've got left to deal with, it seems, legionary first cohort, and a general's armoured bodyguard, and some like that is. That's it. Got more than enough to be able to handle it. It's just a matter of how many casualties are we going to take while doing it. That should do it. Let's get people organized over here. Here's an idea. Take these guys here and try and move them around this way. They might touch the this part here, which brings them over. But actually works in our favor a little bit. Generals so close to each other, and yet so far. Interesting. 
but that's okay. As long as the casualties are nice and evenly, evenly, evenly distributed, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Good, doing damage to them as well. Get involved. I'm not guard mode, so I didn't move. It's always sad to see. There's always a tragedy when a true Roman meets his death. The enemy leader has fallen. Capture the flag time. So the plan here is to push them out of the town square to make them break. Just like that. Enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. This is And we have captured Rome. Now that's not the end of the campaign because we haven't got fifty settlements, but capturing Rome is obviously going to be very valuable to us. He wouldn't have exterminated Rome. Yeah, well, I won the money. Okay, so... That's it. This PQR can't build temples. But what we can train our first cohort. Legionary first cohort. Now, the great thing about legionary first cohort, if we have a look at the stat difference between them and regular legionary cohort, they are exactly the same. It's that these guys have 50% larger unit. And the eagles inspire nearby units. Obviously, that's quite important. Their upkeep costs are about 50% higher as well. So, it makes up for it. But it, that being said, still a very good unit. Gonna recruit some. That'll give all of our legions legionary eagles. Well, you know, if we, once we can get them around to them. Sir. Now, what kind of retraining? So, that he recovered all of his losses because they were the first to take casualties. So, let's spread around these. Casualties. Good. Okay. So we can retrain them. Um, these guys over here, I don't know if we'll, we'll bother with them, but we've still got to get uh, to Capua. Just kick, kick all the other. False Romans out of uh, out of Italy, so we have to capture twelve more regions within four hundred and thirty turns. Okay, so I'm going to send some of the army back to Lilibium. Everything except for the archers because they can't be retrained here. The archers will be retrained at Carthage. Actually, I just swap them out. So over here, you got a bit of retraining to do after your stupid failure. Oh, motherfucker. Next, next door. It's fucking kids and shit. I might be better off just ending the uh, the live stream. Oh, not live stream. Ending the uh, the video now. I know it's a little bit early, but this noise is not going to go away. So I need to pick a better time to record. Uh, even with the acoustic foam here, it doesn't block out. You guys have no idea how fucking loud these guys are. But anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 3.1 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.